Well, hello, you bearded bastards, and welcome back once again to Dwarf Fortress. Now you can tell already that things are going to be a little bit different this time. And that's because, well, this episode's going to be a bit uh, pared down compared to the usual. Not as much editing, and big one here, no pictures. Which I know sounds terrible, but the upswing is that, well, hopefully I'll be able to make a few of these episodes this week. Which would be pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to try out this new update of Dwarf Fortress 47.05. There's some new changes, uh, a toned down stress system, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, I just kind of want to dig my hands in. I'm in the middle of a big series right now, so I don't know when I get to try it out proper. So this would be great. Hope you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get straight into this. Let the antics ensue. We're going to create a new world. Nothing too, too fancy either. We're going to go with a smaller world, long history, civilizations, sites. We're going to crank everything up. Might as well. Full effect. Let's go and praying for a screwed up sort of world with a lot of action in it. Yeah, just kind of let this go for a while. I'm seeing some necromancers, four goblin civilizations. Yeah, this is a this is a spicy meatball. Good, very good. Ooh, Thadar Thran, the planet of dawn. Okay, how's that looking? Age of Legends still. We have a big purple nasty area down here in the south. And I'm liking the looks of that. Yeah, we're going to go with this. And uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. Start playing Dwarf Fortress mode in Thadar Thran. Okay, now let's see here. Having a look around the place, we're gonna wanna pick a place with a lot of adversity. That would be pretty fun, I'm thinking. Well, like, what the hell is this? If we start in this area right here, we're gonna have neighbors that are dwarves, goblins, elves, two towers, but there's also a blank spot in there. What the hell is that? I can't say I've ever seen that before. Very intriguing. Um, Let's keep looking around. Okay, how about right here? You can see the neighbors are looking the same. And as for our civilization, we're gonna go with the gold of Apogees. They're kind of in this area here, so that'd be apt. And as for our area, well, you can see right there, there's a, a road passing through it as well as a brook. It's a pretty mountainous area. Let's do it up. Going to prepare for the journey carefully. Now, okay, I want some good dwarves to work with. So first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of a bunch of our items. We don't need a lot of this stuff. A lot of the wood stuff we can just make when we get there. Not a big deal. And now onto our dwarves. Well, gonna start off with a weaponsmith slash armorsmith. Put all our smith eggs in one basket. We'll have another guy who's a good teacher. I don't know if this works, but if I make him a teacher and a fighter, do you think he could pass his skills on to other fighters? That'd be pretty cool. Rather, you know what? Let's make him an axe man. Maybe he could teach some good axe dwarves. That'd be excellent. And for everyone else, I don't know. I'm just gonna make a bunch of random crap, pretty much. Okay, there we go. We have a smith, an axe teacher, engraver mason carpenter, a dancer and a mathematician. A rowdy group to be sure, but I think it's gonna get the job done. As for our items, well, <laughs> some sheep, good for clothing. Also gonna bring some cats, sure, why not? And also a pair of dogs, couldn't hurt. Oh, you know what, how about some geese? Just a pair, wonderful. Now then, our fortress name, very important. I'm gonna hit the uh, randomized name a couple times. Yeah, not getting too much, I guess. We need something spicy. We're coming here to delve our own fortress, and we have a lot of hostile neighbors, so we're gonna wanna scare them away, I think. Usanatan, Murder Hall. <laughs> I like it. And our group name, The Murder. That's it, that's our group name, The Murder. And our symbol, this is gonna be an important one. I like to start off with a creature most of the time. A creature selected at random, and whatever we get is what we're gonna go with. Gonna let this speed up for a second, not looking right now. And a, re a rhesus macaque, no. Damn it. Aggressive. What's aggressive? We need something that's not going to take any crap from anybody. Something that lives in the mountains maybe would be excellent. Yeah, a giant spider monkey with the monkeys. I think, I think that's telling us something. Okay, so we have to go with a monkey. A giant spider monkey. Sure, why the hell not? We'll go with a giant spider monkey and we'll put a shape on there too. Again, chosen at random. And we get a, a thick crescent. Wonderful. One crescent. And we'll have to make them do something too. That'd be fun. And so we get a... Something is being shot. The the monkey is being shot. Shot by the crescent? Sure, why not? Our flag, the oil of twilight. Wonderful. That's what we're going with. That's our points, our symbol. Everything's done. Welcome to Murder Hall. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Game is paused currently, just so we can get our bearings. We have our wagon out here in a field. A lot less trees than I thought there'd be around here. Of course, it is in the mountain, so to be expected, I suppose. Gonna zoom out a bit to get a lay of the land. Okay, that's not so bad. You can see it drops off in the southeast corner. 
but we also have a couple of large ridges of stone that raise up quite a bit. Very good. Gotta say, that one over on the right there looks pretty promising. Maybe use it as the front of a fortress, perhaps? Maybe, maybe. Now then, dwarves, first things first, we're gonna need some food, we're gonna need some wood, a whole bunch of stuff. We don't have any miners, which is terribly unfortunate, because, we, uh, well, I guess we can't really do much right now, besides mine, using our mathematician and our dancer, perhaps. All right, and we do have some wood down here, which is excellent. So we do have wood. Good. Very good. But yes, looking back up here at this ridge of stone, I think this is where we're going to start carving out our fortress. Now, it's going to be below ground, but do we want to keep it up here in this ridge or do we want to go downwards? You know, I, I kind of want to go downwards in a big way. Looking over here, we can see some hematite already exposed to the air. And that's going to be handy. I think that's good for uh, iron, I believe. Very handy. But yes, anyways, going to start digging down immediately. Let's kind of clean things up a little bit first, though. We can't go into this sloppily, you know. Wouldn't do. Wouldn't be proper. Not really necessary, but we we'll like to see the space we're working with. Just a second. Okay, just got this notification here. The mountain halls of... Mountain halls? That's weird. The mountain halls of Ardent Relic, a short walk to the northwest, looks to our thriving economy for its future prosperity. That's not a good move, Ardent Relic. Why are you looking at us? <laughs> Yeah, that's super weird. I don't know why that would be, but whatever. Okay, that's weird. Like, right after that notification, we have this one. The forest retreat of Couple Parched, a half day's travel to the west has been conquered and now looks to our thriving economy for its future prosperity. I don't know what's going on out there, but they should not be looking at us at all. Really weird. Well, whatever. Anyways, back up here on the surface, uh, still getting things straightened out a bit. Really gonna clean up this corner right here and just kind of nestle our fortress mouth like in this angle right over here. I think that'd be a nice place to start anyways. Still gonna take a little bit of doing though, but after that's done, mm, it's gonna be nice, I'm telling you. Haven't seen anything dangerous yet on the map, just a few ravens. There was also like a barn owl and a peregrine falcon or something, nothing interesting. Hmm, you know, I'm just looking down here in the south and there is this road that passes through our domain. It's a very bad looking road though. Extremely bumpy. We should probably fix that up, eh? Shouldn't be on the top of our priority list, I guess, but... Well, it's there. It's there. We'll get to it. Okay, there we have it. This corner is all cleared out now for the most part. And now we're going to start digging to our fortress area. And we're going to go way overboard with it, too. Nice wide hallway leading in. Two Z levels tall. And you can see down at the end there, we have like a, a large uh, diagonal chamber. That's going to kind of just be the entryway. After that's carved out, we'll start making a tunnel going downwards, a ramp hopefully, so that wagons can get in, you know? That'd be nice. Yeah, gonna take a bit of doing. And I think we'll make this into our, our temporary fortress for now, just until we have a fortress proper carved out. Over here, we have our axe teacher making a trade depot and also a farmer's workshop. Gonna try to get our sheep sheared and see if we can make some stuff to trade just real quick. It'd be useful if we can get our hands on some more trade goods, like soon too. We've not been focusing on the correct things so far, but it'll be fine, not too worried. Although, seeing as how it's now the 16th of Malachi, midsummer, I suppose I should be a little worried. <laughs> really wasting a lot of time. Oh good, and we have some migrants too, wonderful. Great, mouths to feed. Yikes, okay, slow down a second. Alright, looks to be four of them. Nothing too great, really. A couple of metalsmiths, a peasant, and a bone carver. Gonna be making them do a whole variety of things. Looking to get a lot of metal work done. We certainly do have the resources here, so we're probably going to get them doing that in a little bit. Back over here in our current temporary fortress, you can see it's absolutely packed with workshops. And we also do have some beds thrown in there too. A makeshift dormitory. Rocks all over the place, there's some columns, you can't really tell what the hell's going on. It's a mess. But if we look up, you can see it's 2Z levels tall, nice and spacious. We all, those columns in there kind of reach up to the ceiling. I thought that was a pretty cool touch. And now that we have it carved out, we can head downwards right over here through this channel. And you can see the fortress proper. It's on its way. Zoom out a little bit here. And there it is. Two long hallways, one going to the west, one to the south. The western one is hopefully going to lead to our fortress. Just kind of like an entry hall. It might be a bit unnecessary, but, you know, you gotta impress the newcomers. Visitors, too. That's very important in a fortress. So yeah, getting that done. Might have to throw some bedrooms somewhere down here, just a, a temporary thing, you know? But we'll see what happens. The southern hall down there, that's going to be a trap hall. And hopefully that will connect up to the actual fortress too at some point in the future. I was really hoping to use some ballistas or something, you know. Shoot them down the hallway, kill some goblins or something. We're bound to see some at some point, I'm sure. Also those towers too, I guess they are at war with us. We can expect undead at some point. Man, 
Yeah, we're being stupid. We really have to buckle down and focus. Over here, we just started metal production, making some gold bars. We're minting some coins right now. Figured might as well. We do have a ton of gold that we found already. Gold and silver, actually. So, yeah, better make some use of it, right? Actually, I think some coins were just completed. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yes, a stack of 500 Limal Tomud 288 gold coins. On the coin is an image of Sodel pastime era, the dwarf and dwarves. Uh, that's when Sodel became our queen in the year 98. Not our current queen. Must have been a couple generations ago, maybe. And on the other side of the coin is a well-designed image of a white yam plant. Wonderful. Such noble vegetation. Yeah, gonna make a whole load of these things. And hopefully that'll allow us to do some trading. Feeling pretty good, actually. I don't think anybody besides the dwarves will show up this year, but we still do have some time before they do show up. Hopefully that'll allow us to make a lot more coins. No, nope, having a look at our food and drink stockpiles. Uh, 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 bad. Really bad. Actually terrible. Hmm. <laughs> Can we eat coins? <laughs> nope. Okay, let's get serious. I'm gonna have some dwarves come down here and start gathering plants. It's not so bad in the lowlands. There's a whole bunch of stuff to forage around in. Not the biggest area, but we'll have to make do. Oh my goodness, an autumn just arrived. Damn it. That means the caravans are going to come. Not as much time as I thought, apparently. That'll be fine, though. Hey, you know what's not going to be fine, though? What's, you, know, you know what's not going to be fine at all, actually, is if the dead walk, hide while you still can. That's <laughs> substellar. Hmm. Well, that stinks. Okay, well, having a look at these corpses... They appear to be goblins, all except for one. Uh, there's four zombies, and then two corrupted slayers, intelligent undead. One of them is just a goblin wearing normal clothing, and the other is a kobold, wielding some formidable weaponry, although it is just a kobold, so it's tiny. Hopefully we could just punt the thing if we came down to it, but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be that easy. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is turn on our burrow, okay? And our burrow is down here in this place where we're currently carving out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get everyone down here, animals included, and we're not gonna have any food or anything, which is terrible because we're going to die soon, but we'd die sooner if we didn't do this. So, let's get to it, everyone in, animals included, let's go. There we go, there we go, run, 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 little dwarves, run, run, run. And looking back up to the surface, it looks like the zombies are gone. <laughs> you just give, you're giving us a fright for no reason. You rat bastards. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> okay. Nothing to worry about, but also something to worry about, because that was horrible. Yeah, we're going to have to keep our eyes open, I guess. We're going to have to come up with something, because they're going to come back before long. And I don't want to have to play that whole song and dance right there, running inside like that. It's kind of annoying, believe it or not. Tell you what, we're going to change metal production, and we're going to start producing some weapons and armor. Not that these guys really know how to fight at all, but... Like, if they had to fight those zombies that just popped up, I think they'd stand a pretty good chance if they were at least armed. And yeah, again, we do have enough metal here, so let's get to it. Hey, hey, and there we go. The wagons have arrived. Two wagons. And a bunch of pack animals, too. Excellent. We'll be sure to do some trading. And we might as well use the opportunity to get rid of our coins. Wonderful. Yes, let's get to it. Also, we don't have a broker. Oh, what the hell? It looks like they've come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of the realm. Seems strange. Um, I can scarcely believe this good news. I have some recommendations for elevation to barony. So we gotta choose a baron now if we're gonna be a, an official land of the realm. And, well, we didn't have a broker, so I made it be Ingish here, the mathematician. And they seem like a pretty smart dwarf, so what the hell? They could be our leader, the mathematician slash baron. Let's do it. Um, but yes, time to do some trading, I guess. Food and drinks, come on, please. Have brought a lot would be helpful. Well, they brought a bunch of plants. We could brew those into drinks. So it's better than nothing. Oh, and they did bring some drinks too. We'll take them. And some cloth as well. Wonderful, there we go. We live another day, dwarves. Now the next up on our agenda is, well, I'd really like to find the caverns in a big way. Those undead scared the hell out of me. And if we have to come down here, then having access to the caverns could help us a lot food, water, that sort of stuff. If we got locked in this tunnel down here, that's what we would have had to do. So as long as we can at least find out where they are, that'll help us out so much in the future, probably. Oh, look at that, got some more migrants coming in from the north. One, two, three, four, five, six children, great. Oh, wonderful. Not all bad though. Actually, we got two miners, a metalsmith, and well, the children, they suck, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. They'll grow up before long. The miners are good, cause 
well, as I said, we have our mathematician and our dancer mining. But I'm not going to take them off the duty just yet because we don't have a library or even a tavern. So yeah, we're just going to keep them all mining, get some stuff done really quick. And hopefully they'll find some more resources for our blacksmiths who are really hard at work over here. Well, and would you look at that? We have discovered an expansive cavern deep underground already. Awesome. And a downward passage as well for their caverns. Oh yeah, and would you look at that? Looks to be a good cavern, nice and spacious. Bunch of trees, bunch of plants. Yeah, very good. Actually, I can see there's a giant ohm in there now working its way through the caverns. Could be kind of dangerous, but yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just come right down here, make a little entryway into the caverns and get some cage traps in there as well, just in case something sneaks in. We should probably get some cage traps all out in those caverns, all over the place. Catch some animals, butcher them up, maybe train them or something. Sell them, even we could do that. Gonna need some free hands first though, we're awfully busy. Okay, my dwarves, how we feeling? You know, I think it's time to start thinking about bedrooms. Might be a bit necessary. We don't even yet have a meeting hall, but eh, we'll throw some tables down somewhere, it'll be fine. But I really wanna get these bedrooms set up first. And a little something I was thinking of is, well, what if we put bedrooms underneath our feet? Like underground, I mean, this is a tunnel, it's underground, I know that, but like below the hallway? with like a hatch door that leads into a bedroom, you know? You can see already that we have a bunch of hatch doors all along this hallway. See that just kind of like all over the place? And if we look down underground, farther underground, you can see some bedrooms. A whole bunch of them too, four by four, nice and spacious. And yeah, there's gonna be 60 of them all throughout this hallway right here. You know, that's pretty darn good if I say so myself. Quite a large number of our total bedrooms taken care of already. So yeah, that'll be good. Hopefully it all works out. Get some nice like hatch doors put on these stairways. Nice and safe. It's a little close to our entrance, which is a you know a bit dangerous, but you know, if we get a nice gate up or something, then I don't think it should be a problem. We'll see. We're just trying stuff out here. I think it's gonna work out pretty good, but time will tell. Well now, would you look at that? Currently the first of granite, and so begins our second year. Up to 18 dwarves now. And on top of that, it looks like we have a little visitor out here. A kobold. Little bastard's wielding a silver dagger. I'm sure he's gonna run off in two seconds. Oh yeah, they started running away, but here's another one. They're not gonna get into our place. We're probably not gonna catch them either. Very fast. We'll just have to keep our eyes open, I suppose. Kobolds. Hey, here's a fun thing over here. Looks like we've caught some uh, elk birds. Three of them. A male and two females. Perfect. From what I understand, they can be kind of a pain in the ass just because they're egg layers. And after they lay eggs, they'll sit on a nest box and then starve. It's a big, it's a, it's a whole thing. But you know what? I think we're gonna have a stab at it just for the heck of it. They do have antlers and they're pretty big and they lay eggs. Yeah, what the hell? Might as well try. It'll be interesting. Oh, and would you have a look there? Just got this notification that Usan Aitan, Murder Hall, and the surrounding lands have been made a barony. It's official. We're already a barony in our very first year. It still doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but here we are. And I'll tell you what, I think we're gonna wrap things up just right there. Just as an elven caravan arrives. All right, I'm just gonna keep things rolling here. Yeah, that was a fun episode. No real editing, threw some music in there, no pictures, sure, but we kept the action going. It's kind of a strange thing. It's a, it's fun for me to try out something new like this and be able to show you guys. And this is a perfect way to do that quickly. Not something we get to do very often. With that being said, look forward to another episode tomorrow. And we'll keep this rolling for a few days. See how it goes and all that. Now let's see what else. Uh, so this new version of Dwarf Fortress. I still don't feel like we've uh, touched the whole stress system thing yet. That being said, there have been no stressed out dwarves, which is excellent. Just got another migrant wave here. More dwarves, good, good. Uh, but yes, we haven't really touched the new update yet. It's gonna take some time though. Wait for the fortress to get a few years old. This is a huge migrant wave, by the way. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to pause it. Oh my god, they're still coming. This is crazy. Yo, settle down! Whoa. Uh, anyways, yeah, we haven't really touched it yet. It's gonna take a few years to be able to see the effects of this new stress system. They're still coming. This is crazy. How many dwarves is that? We're up to 47 dwarves now. I think we had 18 before. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah, okay, I've paused the game. Notice that there are no uh, necromancer migrants, which is excellent. I wasn't sure if that was a bug at first, because in the, the previous version, there were necromancer migrants all over the place. But yeah, none in this one, which is great. Unless they're like hiding as normal migrants or something, which I guess could be the case. Hoping it's not the case, but I guess we'll see. And besides that, yeah, I guess there really haven't been that many changes. Now, before I let you go, something I thought would be fun 
if anybody wants to take a stab at it is like you know sometimes i get fan artwork if you want to send some fan art of this stuff here i can include it like in the middle of next episode and make it like canon in this fortress but that's only if you want to do that i'm not it's not, not i don't got a knife to your throat or anything like that we can see we have our mathematician here our baron mathematician still don't really have a firm idea of what this guy looks like exactly or we have our lord smith over here who's been making all the weapons iron battle axes iron helmets currently hanging out in this wagon which is absolutely mauled by migrants and we have our dancer over here smoothing some walls down yeah i'm curious what these guys look like but as i said i'm not going to do any pictures for this it takes me so much longer you know and i couldn't do this if i did pictures so yeah just throwing the idea out there anything you saw i'll try to wiggle it into next episode if you send me something but it's gonna have to be quick because the episode's coming out tomorrow feel free to send it to krugsmash at gmail.com if you do decide to do that anyways my bearded bastards i thank you for joining me here today i really do appreciate it i hope you don't mind this change of pace and i certainly hope to see you next time here in usan Aitan murder hall and until then you bearded bastards <laughs>